Hello, hello, what's up? This is your boy, Barano AK, Carolina Blue. Coming coming at you once again with another uh, video for how to get your clothing line or things you need to do to get your clothing line, you know, off the ground. Last uh, few videos that, that I've done, I've been getting a lot of response. I want to thank everybody for uh, supporting the channel. Uh, looking to give a do a giveaway pretty soon for my 200th uh, 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 subscriber. It's not a lot. I'm at like 165 right right now. And for the giveaway, I got some new flame for you guys. And I just want to uh, guys let you guys know and see the new stuff that I've came out with for the Paperboy clothing line it's a brand new hat I've been looking to do something for a style something in uh, different colors and uh, for the paper line uh, paperboy clothing line this is the hat that I've recently came out with the the print on it is usually bigger but also got the new new flame with it it's coming to, uh that I'll be giving away one of these shirts to one of you guys. Here we go. Bam. The official uh, seal. Hit you with that. And also hit you with the uh, side joint tab. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Had a cold here lately with the arm tag on there too, man. So I'm very excited. So you, you get it all right here. Paperboy clothing. New joint, new fire. Got the neon uh, New York Mets. New York, uh, uh, what was that? New York Knicks kind of color, man. That, and I'll probably be doing another one here pretty soon uh, with the kind of... Uh, uh, echoing the Golden State Warriors. I kind of like their colors. I really do like the sh yellow shirt and also with that blue what's coming out. But anyway, I wanted to come to you. I had a few people that had uh, questions about their clothing line and I'm uh, going to answer a few questions right now. You know, uh, one thing that one question that was asked is what do you actually need to start your clothing line? And what I'm going to tell you right now is you you got to have basically the desire to do it. You got to have the desire to do it and to put forth put forth whatever you're trying to get done. You know, if if this is something that's it's, it's not going to go over overnight with you, it's not, you're not going to unless you're if you let you know you know some celebrities the thing to get your line out there. It's gonna take a lot of work, man. It's, it's this is not something you're gonna be able to do overnight, and just get instant success, or even get the amount of followers that you that you uh, that you need to have a successful clothing line. So, right, the first thing you need to do is have desire, and know that when you start this thing, if you're trying to start it to, to make money right off the bat, it's not gonna work. It's not. You're not gonna be successful. You're gonna give up real quick. If if it's something that you don't really want to do and you're just trying to get rich, don't waste your time. You know, I had a, a, a buddy of mine that, that uh, not too long ago asked me uh, about, you know, getting into the t-shirt game. You know, he had a couple of designs. He wanted me to iron them on, and, and, and uh, he's he's got a, a, an idea, and he wanted me to help him out. And I'm like, cool, you know, I'll help you out, dude, you know. But no, I mean, but the way he's going about it is like he's going to put these shirts out and it's going to make him money. And that in itself is almost a slap in the face than anything of you coming out with a line. I don't care if you're coming out with a line. That is fine with me. But when you come out of the line and you just think you're just going to run off and just hit it big. I say you got another thing coming, man. You just can't put out some T-shirts and and. And, and and if it does hit, you're you're fortunate. But 
when it don't, man, are you gonna are you gonna be in there? Are you gonna go back to the lab? Are you gonna try to revise what you've done? Are you gonna hang in there for the long run? Because don't buy don't go up here and say, hey, I'm gonna start a line and start buying up a whole bunch of equipment, especially if you're gonna try to do it at, do it at home or let alone put investing a whole lot of money in, in, in a, a screenshot, you know, uh, 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 a print and press place where, the, where, they, where they're actually going to charge you for these shirts and get a whole bundle of them and you can't move them because you're not ready. You're, you're just not ready. So uh, back to the question, what, what do you actually need to start a clothing line? Well, first I would say you got to have the desire and you got to have the passion for this because it's going to be a long process. Second, uh, with me, I started out, I got me a printing press. I got me a, pre a press, uh, a heat press, excuse me. I got, you know, I, I got a heat press and I also had gotten me a, uh, a cameo and I went the vinyl route. Now I was, I was the one guy you know, that started out, hey, I wanted to go, you know, buy some shirts, go to a print shop and get them pressed out. I started out that way, lost a lot of money and didn't really, you know, dealing with them. You know, I, you know, you lost a lot of money. So I found a way to cut, cut things in half, man. Be more re resourceful. Do your homework. That's one thing you need to do. Do your homework. And you also got to have a platform to sell uh, your clothing, whether it be a online platform or in a store platform somewhere, uh, online or brick and mortar. That's what, or you, you're just out in the street slinging, man. You, you're handing them out, you're handing them out. You, you putting work in, you're hustling your line out so people can see. So, uh, the, those are the few things that you need. And then, uh, overall, man, the process is you have to do your best to, to make anything successful as far as whatever you're doing. So if you're not going to put your all into it, don't do it. Uh, and then, you know, you got to have direction on seeing what you want to go because you can't come out here and just copy someone and think it's going to work. You have to make a a lifestyle out of your, out of this, out of your t-shirt line, you know, whether it's, you know, you're starting out t-shirts and you want to get bigger, you still got to build up the, uh, I can't even say the word right now, uh, the, uh, I'm struggling, sorry, can't use, can't think of the word, but anyway, you have to, you have to have people want it. So you have to build up that, that, that want for it. So, you know, the marketing, you have to worry about marketing, uh, picture taking and things like that to, uh, to help, help the line out, you know, and then, like I said, don't be afraid. One, one, one thing that you do need, you, 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 you're going to need, uh, a Facebook man, use Facebook. You need to use social media. You need to use all social media. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. I love Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. You can find my Instagram page uh, in description below. And then, you know, just give a comment. You know, what do you like about it? You know, so, but have a direction of where you're going. Uh, have it in mind because what you want to do is make it a lifestyle. You know, Paperboy Clothing, that I, was, I made it a lifestyle. People always, uh, another question people ask is, you know, what kind of, what kind of blanks do you use? What kind of t-shirts do you use? It's up to you. You are the clothing line. When you start out, you are it. So me, I don't use Gildan. I don't use uh, Hanes. I use a thicker type of t-shirt, a longer tee because, man, I, I don't like my t-shirts to be tight on me. And... A lot of a lot of other companies like their t-shirts tight tight. It's I'm a bigger boy, so I like my t-shirts to hang a little looser, you know. So I use a a brand called Griffin, you know. People always ask me what I'm using. 
I use I use a Griffin right here and I keep the tag on there I keep the tag on there some people choose to go another route and take that tag out but I keep the tag on there for simple uh, regulations issues because you got to have a tag telling people where it, where it comes from what or uh, what country it comes from how the washing instruction and then that so that's more of a hassle if you take uh, these tags off because then now you got to have another piece of uh, garment uh, a garment that's going to show you washing instructions and things like that see that's what that is I'll try to get it to focus there But anyway, like, like the thing on here. I mean, they have that they have directions for a reason. You know what I'm saying? These things are not. These words are on there. Just they're just not for show. They let you know what kind of fabric it is, where it's made from, uh, how to take care of the uh, the uh, the washing instructions, letting people know, let you know uh, how to take care of the garment. So, for me, I was like, why? If they've already done that for me, there's no need for me to to uh, mess with something that's already been in there. So, I, I don't go that far and mess it out. Now, it, to enhance your, your t-shirt, it does, it does uh, take it a little bit farther. You know, if you have your own back tags in there and everything, it just makes, it just makes the professionalism that much more. But you can achieve that just by doing, you know, uh, simple little things on your t-shirt to uh, brand brand identity, you know. First of all, everybody knows this, you know, I, I do PVC. So you, you're going to see paper, paper boy clothing. You're going to see it. That's the brand, that's the brand that I'm, that I'm repping right now. And all my garments, you're going to see PVC. Now, I might do some different things to it, put a crown on this one, but you're still going to see the PVC. And then to to go, go a little bit beyond that to if if you if you're worried about somebody that's going to steal your idea you know you hit them you hit them with a with a, a, a sleeve tag or a sleeve label right there and then our and then on the bottom man you you hit them with you hit them with this a label on the shirt too to further to further solidify and protect what you're doing out here most people want to go out here and uh try to trademark and things like that you don't want to trademark too early in 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 in, in your uh in the early process and early stages of of your line it costs a lot and if you're and if you're like me you don't have the money to just be burning now if you do have the money go all go all in do your thing but if you don't, man, there's still things you can do to make your clothing line look legit. And I'm and uh and not only that, sit at you know, you can be in stores with the big boys and still look like you need to be there. And that's the point, you know, especially with any clothing line, you wanna make like you wanna make it look like you belong in stores. That should be the goal. You just don't wanna just uh put a graphic on a t shirt. You know what I'm saying? That's why you need to make it a lifestyle. That's why you need to have the fuel. That's why you need to have a web page. That's why you need the social media. That's why you need the Facebook. So you can just so you can keep it out in somebody's faces. There's a rule of thumb. They say <clears throat> somebody needs to cease a, a product at least seven times before they buy. And all those seven times and all those different places they see it adds up it adds up to making you look official or somebody be like hey, that's legit you know not just seven plant times in one place but seven different areas where they're like man you know he's he's really doing something so do your best to get your marketing do your best to uh, get it out there and one thing you don't really have to worry about so much is the graphics. Don't get caught up in the graphics. And there's places you can go to get gra uh, graphics done. If you know people, use 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 your resources. Use people that maybe uh, going to school for graphics and need need to put a portfolio together. 
it's a nice way, nice cheap way to you know get somebody to do some graphics for you. Uh, there's a there's a, a online site called Fiverr. Now Fiverr, you can for five dollars for five easy dollars, you can talk to somebody and work out uh, some designs, and they get it done for you for five dollars. Whatever you guys discuss or however you guys want to do it, and they'll get it done for you. And uh, you know that's a cheap way to get graphics. Now if you run up on somebody that does it in real life, they gonna hit you, bro. They 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 gonna tax you. So, me, I do it myself. I've uh, I've learned how to master a few uh, programs. Uh, I don't I I don't have the big Photoshop's and the, the Adobe's and stuff like that, man. I go to Pick Monkey, straight up Pick Monkey. I have an idea in mind, and I go in there and and I do what I got to do to make my graphics. Now. The, the good thing about that is I know what I want, so I can basically, you know, get in there and pretty much get whatever I, I get in my head down. So that's the good thing. Now, Fiverr, if you're in one of those other sites, you're dealing with somebody, you have to do the back and forth thing. Make sure your communication is good with whoever you're messing with so they can uh, get you right or you come out satisfied. But with that, man, I hope I answered a lot of uh, questions for you guys or a few questions that people ask. Uh, yeah, my first and second one on eBay, and this last one I got is is great, man. It's it's uh, it's been serving its purpose, you know, f for a while. So, but like I said, man, I'm gonna get out of here. Keep grinding, and keep moving ahead. If you guys have any questions, put them direct uh, direct them below. And like I said, I'm looking for my 200th subscriber, and I want to do a giveaway. And what I am giving away is a a hat. This hat will be pretty. Much, the graphic on this hat is big. Will be bigger. I'll show you a different example. Uh, I'm going to be giving this away along with this T man. This T. So if you guys are interested in the giveaway, all you have to do is put I'm in uh, in the description, in the comments below. I haven't even got to 200, so put like and subscribe. Please hit the like button. I'll probably do, I'll pro if, if this video gets up to, let's say 100 likes. I would like to see this video get up to 100 likes. I'll give an additional two more T-shirts for the people, the the second two. So I'll be possibly giving three shirts out by the by the seventh. If you guys put down here, I'm in for the giveaway, and then uh, I'll get back to you, hit you up. This is a snapback. Hit you up with the snapback. Snapback love and everything, and then uh, also the T. So. Let me know what's up. I'm out. This is your boy, Barano, AK Carolina Blue, helping you get your, your line off the ground, man. Oh, yeah, here, by the way, this is what it looks like on. Give you a full view right here. Bam. Give them the three graphics. You got the boom, boom, boom. And then also, like you said, the sign. I like, I like them big, man. So, like I said, man, like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and then uh, put down there, hey, I'm in for the t-shirt giveaway. And I'll be sure to get you guys back there. And especially at that, that time, uh, I'll just ask you, I'll put under the the comment, uh, your email address, and then um, I'll be able to send some information as far as sizes and things like that. Or, better yet, just put the size that you like under yours, under comments too. I'm in with your size. Boom. I'm out of here.